everyone, I'm Carrie with Scary Halloween. I wanted to share my haunted asylum tour with you guys, which takes place in Traverse City, Michigan. I give a brief two minute history at the beginning of the video, but it gets creepier after that. So grab a cup of coffee or a glass of wine for the short film and let me know if you see or hear anything that I might have missed. The Northern Michigan Asylum was completed in 1885, housing approximately 50,000 patients. This was more than six decades before the use of the first psychiatric drugs. The main structure is almost a quarter mile long and over 30,000 square feet. It had a state-of-the-art ventilation system with large fans forcing air through the underground steam tunnels. The founding medical superintendent, Dr. Munson, believed in the moral treatment movement, Beauty is Therapy, which at the time was revolutionary. If patients were surrounded by a beautiful environment, their emotional and mental state would be uplifted. Use of physical restraints was forbidden except for the most extreme patient situations. However, during this time period, not much was known about medicine and mental health. Patients were admitted for things like autism, dyslexia, addiction, and homosexuality. Essentially, anyone who did not behave in their version of normal was sent to the state hospital. Over the decades, changes in law for mental health care brought on the decline of the institution and it was closed in 1989 after 104 years of service. Sadly, the patients were forced to relocate after its closing and many were left on their own to find housing and resources. This closure left behind a group of abandoned buildings and the right amount of mystery to drive rumors of hauntings and other strange occurrences. The community struggled with plans for reuse of the hospital grounds, but in 2002, it was purchased for $1 and has gone through a $60 million restoration, turning them into what is now the village at Grand Traverse Commons, home to shops, restaurants, cafes, and apartments. A number of the older buildings are still left to explore for historical tours. No haunted asylum would be complete without bodiless voices from abandoned rooms and unexplained lights. People have seen figures in abandoned rooms, felt that they were being watched, heard doors slamming, or loud voices insisting that they leave the grounds. I might make a video, you guys, of our experience, but it's gonna have to be. Okay, Adam. <laughs> Do I need to turn? Yes. <laughs> if I do this, is it pretty? Yeah. Very good. You, see, <laughs> you had to cut some of these? What did you find behind the wall? Uh, left so I wish I would have kept recording when my friend Adam was explaining what he found behind the walls. Adam cuts concrete for a living, and about 10 years ago in this very building, he found lobotomy tools hidden behind the walls. Lobotomies used to be a common psychosurgery used to treat mental health conditions. Shine some lights on it. <laughs> oh, it's so cool though. So we're standing in front of building 40. Now, this building would have held 96 male patients. Uh, some of the paranormal happenings that have been reported here, uh, among others, have been like uh, phantom piano music playing. Uh, it scared the other guides so much that they ran out of the building and said they said I'll never come back, but uh, they came back. It took a day. <laughs> I think that stuff is fascinating. Let's shine it on this one now. Why is that? Why is that so much better than that? It's so bright. That's just... <laughs> <laughs> ooh, ooh. That's that's creepy sh this right there. And that was to do just like a short EVP session and then to replay it um, in real time to see if I captured anything. All right, so um, I asked a question that I, t that I already know the answer to. I asked, what's the number of this uh, cottage? And there's like a few seconds of silence and then you hear a response. Um, it's kind of like a, a loud whisper, but I'll play that for you now. What's the number of this cottage? <laughs> I heard that it wasn't that. <laughs> That'd still be funny though. 69. <laughs> so there would be six male patients to a room. 
gonna go up to the attic, we'll spend a little bit more time there. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> That's scary down there. Yep. Where are the signatures? Over here? Yeah. At the spot. Two years ago, I was able to investigate yeah. this place. Nonetheless, I did investigate this place for about three hours, and uh, this is by far the most active building uh, in all the places that we've been. Uh, I think that door down there, that was just one piece of laundry chute, and you'll see it's straight printed on the wall, don't look down, and then of course you're going to look down. So, now uh, go ahead and uh, kind of just wander around. Oh, oh. Weird vibe when I stepped in here. Okay, we should go. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Wait, where are we going? Oh, we're going down. We're going down to the base. Awesome. Okay. Babe, let's go. <laughs> Get a vibe in here. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I feel it. It's behind. There you go, that's good. Mark and I both felt something behind us back here. It's just so, so cool. Alright, so it's a bit of a walk, but we're going to go through the same tunnel now. Yes. Now, I admit, even I was like, okay, well, that could be several things. But here's the first picture I'm showing you. Now, it kind of looks like a man in a suit with his head kind of crooked, kind of looking back at the person taking the picture. Um, I don't have a name for him. I plan on uh, hopefully doing some EVP sessions of finding Oh, it's just beautiful. Yep. What so, tunnel was Superman in? Superman was captured right here. here. That's the area where he's down. So I'm going to turn the lights off and uh, let you know if you capture anything. But I'm going to turn the lights off in about uh, five seconds. So five, four, three, two, one. And actually, um, the best way to take pictures is just to kind of try and get shoulder to shoulder. Take care of going to the front and then to the back. So um, that tunnel that I was talking about that goes to the old board, 
Ooh. Old work tumble. I need to hear about this more. Did you say, ooh, more? Yes. <laughs> Have you met me? You don't hear that a lot. <laughs> Just the morgue tunnel. It's just the morgue tunnel, <laughs> you know.